I hope you remember that we were discussing the case checking aspect. And last day we have discussed about the Purism 90. And today our target is to be 91. Animal right. The symptoms and feeling of the patient during a previous course of medicine do not punish the pure feature of the disease. We are discussing a situation in the chapter of testing where a person comes to you and he is taking some medicine. He has undergone some treatment. Maybe he is continuing to treat, take the medicine. That is the, what should be our approach in that case. Now if you I am sure you must have seen it in your OPD. That this is in today's time a very common thing. We don't get any person who has not taken any person. Either he just comes to sir, thora gas ho gaya. And then also you will find he is taking anti-acid. Long time, maybe two years, three years. And after that, initially there was a relief and then there is no relief. So antacid is being taken and still there is gas and then the person comes. And India, you know, our mother country. is a very interesting place. Thanks to illiteracy associated with poverty. Very unique type of situation you will see in your opinion. And tomorrow when you start clinic, we are just preparing you what you are going to face tomorrow when you start your clinic. When I say clinic, even if you join the service, then also you have to see patients. You will find a person who are taking some antibiotic for two years. There was some cough and then his village quacked, he gave him some medicine, he took it, he is relieved and then he is continuing to take it for last. And we read so many things about antibiotics that there is a course, it should not be taken more than that, but that person apparently at least is quite healthy. We find persons who are taking steroid for a long period of time. So in such cases, what should we do? Or there are some situations like blood pressure, like epileptic seizures, some cardiac situation where the person is taking some medicine and your knowledge or common sense says that those medicines cannot be just stopped because if you just stop it there will be serious consequences. So what should we do? How should we approach that? These efforts are mainly dealing with Basic principle do not change. Basic principle is that symptoms are the sound guide. Basic principle is that I must get the symptom of the patient, not of the diseased condition produced naturally or by medicine. Because even when a person is not taking some medicine and he is coming to me, so what is my aim? Why do I go through all the details of case taking? What I'm trying to find? Am I trying to find the what is the disease? What are the symptoms of disease? What are the diagnostic points of the disease? I am trying to find out what is the symptom of that person. And in that, of course, diagnosis helps. Because then I am able to remove the symptom which is common to the disease. 
saying is this is true when a person of typhoid comes to you and you have taken a case and you must remove the symptoms of the typhoid and then you give the patient symptom if this is true then the same principle is also true when the person is taking some allopathic medicine or non homeopathic medicine for long period of time and the condition is produced because of that medicine so i must know what are the symptoms of this medicine and here in this situation you find three conditions mixed together symptoms of the disease symptoms of the medicine that he has been taking and the original symptom of the patient or the disease or the patient. and all these three are Yes. And my problem as a physician is that I have to know what are the problems or symptoms of the patient in order to prescribe or find out the symptoms. So how can you do that unless and until you know the symptom of medicine, you know the symptom of the disease, then automatically it will be easier for you to find out the symptom of the pain. That is what we need to do. The symptoms and feeling of a patient during a previous course of medicine do not furnish the pure picture of him. He has taken some medicine. As I have always said, I am repeating myself. Organon was not written in a casual way. Every word, every sentence that is written after much thinking, much thinking has gone behind it. Because it has gone so many editions, printed editions. So you can understand that before sending it to press, how many corrections the author must have done. So every word, every phrase is important. He is saying not only symptom, the feeling of it. How the patient felt after taking or during taking the finding. That is also important. So, symptoms and feeling of the patient during a previous course of medicine that he has earlier taken, they do not furnish the pure picture of the reason, you know, why, why they do not furnish the pure picture. Because <laughs> symptoms are mixed, jumbled. <clears throat> but on the other hand, those symptoms and elements which he suffered from before the use of the medicine. He has taken medicine and he has before the use of the medicine those symptoms or after they have been discontinued for several days. He may have himself discontinued. We get so many situations when the patient comes and he will say to the doctor, I have decided to come to you. So I have stopped taking all of them. They come and tell you. Or sometimes you have to ask the patient to not take him. You give placebo. Or you don't give placebo, just ask him for her not to take any. So, after they have been discontinued for several days, give the true fundamental idea of the original form of the disease. And these, especially the physician may, must take. No the original before the medicine or after the medicine they will give you the but when disease is of a chronic nature in acute disease because what happens is even a normal healthy person If I do not have any problem in my legs or knees, as of now, <laughs> touch it. But if I start walking with a stick and I walk like, with that it is, say after a year or so, and then you remove that stick. Then it will be difficult for me to walk without a stick. Because 
I have started depending on you. So that dependency comes, whether it is medicine or anything in your life. Those of you who first came to stay in hostel, remember? When you were thirsty, you were searching for your mother to bring you a glass of water. <laughs> when your clothes were dirty, you used to throw it in a corner that mother will clean. And then realization dawned upon you that there is no mother. You have to do it. You have to. So that dependence. So that is the problem. And dependency it starts. So in case of chronic disease, and patient has been taking medicine up to the time he is taking, the physician may with advantage leave his some time quite without medicine or in the meantime administer something of an unmedicinal nature and defer to a subsequent period the more precise scrutiny of the morbid system in order to be able to grasp in the theory the permanent uncontaminated symptom of the old affection and form a faithful picture of the You have to ask the patient to take placebo or not to take any medicine. You see, especially in chronic disease, it is always not possible to finish the proper case study in one sitting. It sometimes requires multiple visits. Many reasons. First and foremost reason is that you need to have the faith, the rapport, the doctor-patient relationship so that the patient will have faith in me, reliability on me and then he will narrate to you everything that you are asking. Second, practical problem, patient may not remember everything. How come he know that you will ask you what type of food you like <laughs> or have you taken any vaccination? Or have your father uh, suffered from some disease? So this information, then you train your patient. That you have to notice this. Suppose you have pain in abdomen, so you have to notice in what situation it is better, what situation it is worse, what food, what posture, what time of the day. All these has to be noticed. So that is why multiple settings are required. And especially when the patient is taking some allopathic medicine, then this is also required. Because you want permanent uncontaminated symptoms of the patient. Uncontaminated means those which are not contaminated by the symptoms of the medicine that the patient is taking. So that is what you require. So that has to be removed. That contamination has to be removed. And in order to remove that contamination, the first step for motorization seven foot not. What is the first thing you should do? Remove it. What is causing the problem? Remove that. So here I want pure symptom. What is causing the impure symptom? The medicine. Remove it. Then you get the uncontaminated symptom which is your target and which will be your basic for selection of <laughs> understood but there is a problem problem is i just said that it is easier to say this but in practice if a patient is taking some antihypertensiveness how can I ask the patient not to take that medicine? You come after 15 days. In the 15 days time, don't take any hypertension. There are good chances that after 15 days, either relative will come with danda. Mm -hmm. Because something bad has happened. Or you will receive a summon of the police or both. Or even if you know about what the medicine and disease is all about, then your conscience will not allow you to do this. We cannot put a patient in danger. So are we then in a position where 
we will never get uncontaminated symptoms. What will do then? Because in such situation, the ideal is to get uncontaminated. But till such time, I am not getting it. I have to manage with whatever I am getting. Namama se kanamama. Whatever I am getting, I have to manage with that. Not so contaminated, but less contaminated. And in due course of time, I will slowly taper. I will taper that question. And then I will replace it with Omdra. But till that time, when they, I am getting a situation, those life saving situations, forget that. That has to be approached in a different way. But till that time, when the patient is taking some, say for example, antacid for two years, four years, ten years, taking some pain medicine, taking some sedative, taking some medicine for constipation. Those medicine can very well be asked, the, the patient can be asked to discontinue. Even if I discontinue, I am not going to get the pure medicine. What the patient has been taking for 5 years or 10 years, in 10 days or 15 days, I am not going to get the pure medicine. Number one. Number two, I cannot make the patient suffer. Once I ask him not to take a pain medicine, he will be suffering. Mm -hmm. I am asking him not to take a constipation medicine, so he will be having constipation. Or maybe increase. Or even without that, the whole system, the physiology is disturbed because of the pain. How we will approach that situation? Luckily, we have medicine also for facing or tackling those situations. Whatever medicine we have been taking, we should know about the component of the medicine. And based on an effect that it has produced. Suppose there is a patient who has been taking some antacid for a long period of time. And that antacid, due course of time, after some time, you know, it has ruined the physiology. But even when, while ruining, because every person is a unique individual, different from other person. So, if I take that antacid as a stimuli, then for that stimuli also every person's reaction will be different. My reaction to an antacid for 5 years will be different from somebody else's reaction for 5 years. <coughs> In some condition, the patient will have a wind health where his ruined health has produced a condition where he cannot tolerate lightest spicy thing, lightest rich food, lightest disturbance causes anxiety, tension, irritability and it has ruined the person's individuality and in constitution in such a way that the whole day he is only thinking about Gas, tool, gastric problem, what food I should take, whether this food will cause any problem. My life is ruined because of this. I went to stool, it is not satisfactory. How I will go to my office or work? His problem starts from the moment he opens his eyes. 
and he buys a lottery ticket when he has a satisfactory stool. <laughs> because most of the days he has to go repeated. He goes, not finished. Again goes, something remains. <clears throat> Again goes, and when you go multiple times like this, and you want to finish the thing, then what happens? You have to strain. So, you know, rectal issues, anal issues, by pressure, all those things happen. You have medicine for a situation like this. In another person, there is again reading of physiology, where the person cannot control his bowel. He always has a feeling. When he is going out, his biggest problem is if I get the urge. If the stool passes, I cannot control it. He always has this feeling of I cannot control, I cannot be able to check it. And gas formation. And severe pain in abdomen after the gas with the gas formation. <coughs> and when he passes stool with there, with that, there is severe passing of lettuce with mucus stools. And along with that, the pain subsides for the time being. Do you have a medicine for this situation also? The first one was Gomika. The second one is Allopathotima. Or you have a patient who is totally oversensitive after taking some medicine, allopathic medicine. Now he has become very, very sensitive to everything, mentally healthy, uh, mentally, physically, everything. Hypersensitiveness. That is the main feature. Yes. Or he has been taking some medicine, steroidal medicine. And this is steroid elements in due course of time, he has, maybe he is having asthma, for example. And he has been taking some prednisolone or something like that. And become habituated to it. Now he want to stop it. So you have to start with the medicine. You are getting good symptom. But you know this symptom is not going to help you in selection of the medicine. You need something to tackle the effects of the medicine that he has been taking. So these are the situations you will. For that it is very important that we have our armory, armamentory, weaponry. Good weapons are there. We have inside, we have gun, we have bomb, we have everything. The important thing is we should know when to do that. If that is not known, then it won't be any help. So as I said, Lasmomica is one of such men. And what do we get in Lasmomica? The first remedy indicated after much dosing is establishing a sort of equilibrium of forces and counteracting. There are so many feelings. So many feelings. Many of them I know. Three years. Some of the Indians told me. When a patient used to come, they will start with her. They will not ask anyone. They will start the indicated medicine later. They will first give. The reason was to get that equilibrium. To remove, bring back the balanced condition. Whatever medicine was, he has been taken. But again, don't forget that. There are so many medicines. So out of that, you need to select one. And that one can be selected only by individual. Alopapatina, the first line of the boring. What is it? 
excellent remedy made in re-established physiological equilibrium after much dose in their diseases and yeah. this was your problem while reading the horizon when we are discussing this was the problem that the drug symptoms and the disease symptoms were getting mixed up and in order to tackle that we have another way allosopatina but again allosopatina has its own feature this is one line one image other than that there are so many individualizing features so your final selection has to be based on other features please note so intoxicating liquor we are not discussing now or drug inebriated and be such medicine which has this feature property of making you an inner inebriated person you know one of the drivers a lot to identify him he was having this problem i observe that whenever there is somebody honking horn then he does like this there is much space but when there is a honking then he turns toward positive when you sit then you will understand that he is very afraid fear <coughs> and in india you know horn and honking people honk at red signal <laughs> thinking that if they put horn the red signal will turn to green india is a very interesting place <laughs> so when i asked further then i came to know that this particular person he was having panic attack whenever he is alone he was having panic attack he said it and cannot sleep fearful so i asked him you want to take home the medicine then okay then it has to be done So he said, "Sir, I have just started taking allopathic medicine since day before yesterday. I have visited one of the state government college, allopathic college, and they have given me the medicine. So I saw the medicine. Most of them were anti-depressant or anti-anxiety. I said, 'Okay, you are free. You have to decide to take homeopathy. Then I will. Don't take homeopathy because I am telling you.' So he continued to take the medicine." Three four medicines were taken. After seven days, he was a happy person, much happy. That I can see the change in his attitude, in his behavior. I can see the change. I can also see that he was walking like a zombie, <laughs> um, like that. People say, "I let it happen." I said, "How is your sleep?" So I can sleep any time. <laughs> I feel sleepy most of the time. And there were other things. So when these type of conditions are produced under the influence of the medicine, <coughs> then you have that moisture and petroleum. If you remember that moisture and petroleum, then both of them has this one feature. common what is that sensitive 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 to noise irritability okay so much so that even tearing of the paper rubbing of the paper that makes the patient irritated of course gastric and other features are there And in order to prevent the neurotic affection, you must think about 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 the neurotic affection.
when you take sedative for long period of time. Then after some time you start depending upon it. Then you can't sleep without these sedatives. You have to always take that sedative. And if you analyze the symptoms of Magnu, then you will find that that situation that is produced, the neurotic affection, neurothenia, hysteria, these are the conditions where sedatives are given. And that condition after sedative that is produced is very similar to your Magnu. Then we have a Magnu. Similarly, we have Fuclium Maramharam. Fuclium Maramharam is more of a generalized medicine. We are long use of allopathic medicine has produced a hypersensitive condition, irritable condition. Then you have natural urea. The obstruction of fishing with a caustic or electric current or hot iron or a freeze is usually done in of utilize and serving for treating the chlorine. What right is? Nowadays, you know, skin hacks are very common. Tags are very common. I don't know what is the reason, but suddenly it is very common in law. And most of the people who think that they are mainly, you know, their look is very important. They go for cauterizing that, burning that, cutting that. And when you cauterize that, the scar and the effect that is produced, that of you is one of the medicine for that. Another one is Arjantan. Or when you have medicine where mercurial, medicine of mercurial properties. Don't think that these symptoms were written so long ago so you will not find them. Because component has to be mercury. Then photophyllum is one of them. When a medicine is given in a large dose, large dose so, so that that dose is producing a poisonous effect. Then the condition, if you know the symptom of opium, then you will understand that the situation that is produced after that is very similar to the opium symptom at all. So in such situation, opium is one of the medicines to be caustic, paralysis of lead poison, abuse of mercury, or sulfur scales. Now, typing of that is now no more used. That type format is now changed. People now know it. Desktop printing. But sulfur is still used as skin oil, as a constituent of skin oil in other system of medicine and produces effect really the fresh name. So when scabies or such type of skin condition are suppressed because of some sulfur con containing ointment, then the condition that you get, that can be tackled by plastic or camphor. When we are talking about bad effect, don't think we are talking only about allopathy. There are other system of treatment also where large doses are used in the name of natural system of healing, in the name of natural treatment, in the name of natural medicine. They also use large herbal medicine, quantity, basis of selection. The problem is that, the problem is not source. It is not that that the poison which is produced by nature will be having some good effect. Poison will be poison. Because the poison becomes poison because of the dose. <coughs> the effect that it is going to produce. 
So when you get a constable medication being used and the effect that is produced, then you have gas. To counter that, what is the local application of car a suffocation from gas? Now the component car is used in different types of skin oil. And different type of patients. They use stuff. And if it produces bad effects, side effects, complications, then Bobinta is calico, petroleum, <coughs> aluminum, nitric acid, relief element resulting from abuse of mercury. If there is hypersensitivity, resilience for large doses or too frequent replication of birth A medical or chemical preparation containing mercury often changing or reacting in a way that is unexpected. There is a course of action that is what is supposed to happen, and when that will not happen, something else happens. Then you have fibrocancer, mercury. And of course, my what I want to discuss is that when you are getting a patient who has been taking allopathic medicine for long, then we cannot put the patient's life at risk by just asking the patient don't take any medicine. But we have to tackle the situation. And that situation can be tackled very well by homeopathic medicine. Provided you should know what you are doing. And organon will tell you what you are doing. How you will tackle. For that you need to read this particular policy. And you should know these medicines as well. So that you can apply this. Okay. Thank you.